Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you on how to beat satanic demons. Okay. If you want to be on the Lord's side, you will have to have the Holy Ghost power to defeat demons. Okay. These satanists have wicked power of Satan. They do witchcraft. In order to defeat their power, you must receive the Holy Ghost Spirit from God Himself. Okay? And this and this spirit, which is God Jesus Christ, is the only one that can give you to it. Okay. Now, He's the only one that can bless you with this spirit, because you will be baptized with fire. Okay. And you will see this burning bush that is never consumed to look upon this light. And this light is, is very beautiful, okay? It is God. And you are being baptized with this fire in the spirit, okay? And when you receive it, you will be able to cast out devils instantly, okay? Now, this is the only power, no one else can give you this power but God himself okay now look at this okay his Holy Ghost can only give you this okay this says I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that coming after me is mightier than I whose shoes I am not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire okay um, as you can see, it was John that was speaking that, okay? He said, he, one mightier than him can only baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And that is Jesus Christ's spirit. Now, in order to witness this spirit, okay, you have to really really be able to want to stop sinning i repeat you have to really really be able to want to stop sinning hating wickedness hating unrighteousness you have to hate the worldly things in this world of satan okay in order to see jesus christ spirit because jesus christ spirit is choosing his righteous seed He's choosing his righteous people on this earth. And he's going to only give it to those that are willing to seek him. Okay. Not anybody can just get this spirit just uh, right off the bat. Okay. You have to really be able to repent to him. And fully serve him. Okay. And um, he can only baptize you with nobody else. Okay. Um. He's, his Holy Ghost Spirit will come to you and show you this fire and burning bush. Okay. Now, once you receive this power, you will be able to cast out devils that comes your way instantly, that comes in your house or wherever they at or in the people. Okay. Because this power is the only power that can rebuke Satan instantly. Okay. Yes, some demons are more stronger than others. Okay, but this is the only power of Jesus Christ spirit that can instantly cast out demons. Okay, now if you don't have the spirit, you won't be able to cast them out. You'll be heeding to certain demons coming your way. Okay, and you'll be thinking it's the spirit of God when it isn't. Let me tell you about demons. Okay, they like to mask themselves as angels of light. They like to pretend that they are gods. Okay, and let me tell you, the Lord's Spirit, when he appeared unto me, he wears his right ramet, okay, to his feet, okay. He's a, he's a supreme spirit um, of light that wear his right ramet to his feet. That's how he appears, okay. That's the only spirit of God that can cast out demons and shine light upon darkness, okay. Now, other spirits that y'all seeing out here, 
okay, that appear to you dark or appear to you trying to get you to sin or appear to you to get you to hate Jesus or appear to you to um, say they for God and get you to um, sin against God, you must question that, okay? These spirits that are operating, these demons that are operating, they want to appear to you to deceive you, okay? They're not going to appear like Jesus Christ, okay? I'm going to hit, hit that up to you well now. There's a difference, okay? There's a complete difference. Every time demons appear unto me, there's an uneasy feeling, very uneasy feeling that I'm being pressured and I'm about to fight, okay? Because they come into attack, okay? Now, when it's Jesus Christ, he appears very subtle, okay? And to, the, to where he is showing me and revealing things unto me, okay? Showing me things that these wicked people do in the dark. Um, protecting me, guiding me, okay? Comforting me, okay? It's a total difference. You understand me, okay? Total difference. You best question the spirits y'all are uh, talking to out here, okay? Now, Jesus appeared as the king. He's where his right ram and he has light, full of light from his face. Very bright light, okay? Now, you have not seen this spirit. You see in others. Those are not God, okay? <laughs> I want to hit to y'all something, okay? It's a total difference. Okay, now, in order to seek Jesus Christ, you must repent. Okay, you must say, oh, I hate wickedness in this world. You must start hating it. Okay, you got to start hating it. Un the, the unrighteousness that these Satanists and these demons are telling you. Okay, you got to hate what they say. You got to hate what they do. Okay, because they hate God. Okay, but you got to hate their wickedness. See how they're killing children? You got to hate all that. Okay. You got to hate all that stuff they doing against God. You got to hate the sin in this world. Okay? In order to witness the spirit. See, the way I got delivered, people, when I had sin against my God and I was seeing demons trying to get my soul, okay, I had to choose who God I wanted to serve, okay? And at that moment when those cloud of dark demons came upon my face, I had to choose to say, Satan, my soul don't belong to you, okay? And that's where Jesus appeared to cast out the dark demons away from me. I had to choose. And in my heart, God knew my heart that I didn't want to be going to hell, okay? So he came and he cast them demons right in my doorway, okay? His spirit himself. And I, I was able to witness this wonderful spirit okay i was able to witness this king okay that's why i ain't gonna never forget it i was able to witness this now you can witness this also if you start hating the sin and these demons that's coming around attacking you okay you have to choose the father in heaven and you have to be very sincere in the heart to do so for him to appear to you to do it okay God knows your heart. God knows his chosen. And he knows who is, is willing to serve him. Okay. Now, as you can see, Holy Ghost with fire. You only can receive this by God. Okay. Now, let's go to Acts um, 1.8. Okay. I'm going to read from verse 7. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and Samaria unto the uttermost part of the earth. People like myself who have received the Holy Ghost, we are able to witness God. We are able to have seen God. Okay? And we that is why we preach to tell others what he looks like, 
what he appears to be, okay, and as it's written in the word, it is the actual truth, okay? I would not be preaching like this if I have not witnessed it, okay? Now, he was the only one to show me what these wicked people are doing in the dark. If it wasn't for God revealing these visions unto me and showing me, I would not know, okay? He was teaching me in the spirit what these Satan is doing, okay? What they are doing, okay? Because I was a woman that was once wanted to be in the world, okay? But God was teaching me, turning me away from these things and showing me what these people were doing, okay? And just like when I wanted to be a background dancer, when that girl told me I cannot uh, come in that business talking about Jesus Christ's name, I knew then they were corrupt because everybody should automatically know Jesus is a righteous God, okay? And anybody that hate upon Jesus, the righteous God, are evil. They are totally corrupt, okay? Totally corrupt. You best believe these people are corrupt at heart and hate upon the righteous, okay? Now, this power is the only power that can cast out demons that comes upon your way. And if you don't have this power, then demons can automatically get to you. Okay? Just like when demons say, Jesus, I know you. Paul, I know you. But who are ye? They knew Jesus. They knew Apostle Paul because Apostle Paul had the Holy Ghost. And um, these other men, they automatically jumped into them. Okay? automatically and they ran out butt naked and wounded okay that's how demons operate if you don't have the holy ghost power of the jesus of jesus christ spirit within you they will be able to jump into you instantly okay and this is why you must have this power you must have the faith in jesus in order to defeat demons okay like i said some demons are more stronger than others okay you got higher, wickeder demons than others. And in order to fight the wickedest demons, you must have the strongest faith in Jesus. Okay? Listen, now you got to have the power. Okay? And the only God, Spirit, can appear to you to give it. Okay? Let's go to Acts 19. And it came to pass... That while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, Paul having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and found certain disciples. And he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. See, they didn't know about this, okay? But Apostle Paul was telling them, You must receive this Holy Ghost to believe. To believe Jesus Christ, you must receive, um, since you believe Jesus Christ, you must receive this Holy Spirit, okay? And he said unto them, Un unto, and he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people, that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Okay? And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came upon them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Pastor Paul was able to do this because he had the Holy Ghost, which is still Jesus Christ's spirit. Okay? Now, that's another thing I want to clarify. Don't let any man just lay hands on you. Okay? Telling you you got the Holy Ghost. Because if they don't have it, and you heed to false prophets leading, your, leading their hands on you, then you will be vexed with many. Okay? Whatever demons in them will jump also in you. Do y'all understand this, people? So, Pastor Paul had the Holy Ghost, which is still Jesus Christ's spirit, God's spirit, since he was baptized with it, to order for them to receive this spirit, this power. Okay? Now, y'all must be wise, okay? Must be wise. 
In order to discern spirits, you must test them out and judge righteously out here. You test them out by knowing if they're going with the living word. Okay. Lots of times they do not follow it. Okay. They pick verses and still don't follow it thoroughly. That's demons. Okay. They don't follow it thoroughly. They will reject certain verses in the Bible and, 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 and uh, not follow God per se. Just like how they deny Jesus' name. You got a lot of these people out here picking verses out of the King James Version Bible where it mentioned Jesus while they deny Jesus. Okay? In the same sense. They, you cannot do that. You cannot deny the Father that written this Bible. If you are denying the Father that written this Bible, then you are a demonic. Simple as that. You are even to Satan. And Satan tells you not to tells you not to uh, serve Jesus. Okay? And you, y'all must remember, Satan was once in heaven. He knows the word. And um, he can take the word and, and try to uh, manipulate in his own way. Okay? That's because he wants to be his own God. And y'all must remember to only stick to the living word fully, word by word. Okay? So, I want to say this, okay? Now, this is the part where the, the uh, see, evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them. So they fled out of the house naked and wounded. That's the one I was telling you about the men that uh, the evil spirit jumped into, okay? That's still in Acts 19, okay? I might post all that Acts 19 description box below so y'all can see that, okay? If you don't have the Holy Ghost, like uh, Apostle Paul and uh, Daniel and uh, Moses, you will be vexed with many if you do not have this whole arm, okay? And it's, and it's a challenge. You must have the Holy Ghost power to our defeat them. And only God himself and the people with the Holy Ghost Spirit can give it to you, okay? People... Seek this word here and to order to defeat demons and defeat these satanic satanists out here. You must receive this power. Okay? We must cast these demons out with the fire of God. People, seek this word here. Jesus Christ is God.